So, I've been playing my Iron Man a lot lately, and part of playing an account like this means that I have to go out and farm a bunch of different items for my character. This led me down a path where I wanted to figure out how luck actually worked in this game, and of course figuring out how much of an impact flagging for PvP will actually have on your luck chances. So I did some looking around on the internet and I did my best to put together a bit of a breakdown on how luck works and what kind of luck bonuses are actually worth seeking out for your character. Let's start by talking about the PvP flag bonus. When you flag up for PvP in the open world you get a 10% global luck increase and a 30% gathering luck increase. And I did want to note that 100 luck is equal to 1% luck, just in case you're wondering because I know that luck is listed differently on different things in the game. So let's start by talking about gathering luck. Each level that you get as you level up your various different gathering skills will give you 10 luck per level for a total of 2000 or 20% luck increase when you hit level 200 in that skill. PvP flagging gives you a 3000 or 30% luck increase. That is a huge chunk of additional luck. In fact, if you stacked all of the gathering luck bonuses in the game that you could, the PvP bonus alone would be worth one third of your total luck bonus and then each major trophy will give you 1500 luck as well, making them well worth your time for investing in. And finally, certain drops such as Fey Iron or Cinnabar have a minimum luck value that you need to achieve in order to get that drop. That's the reason why someone who's level 1 mining won't find any Fey Iron, and someone who's level 200 mining with no luck bonuses will be able to find them. So let's take a look at this New World Guide luck calculator. If you guys want to play around with this, I've got a link to it down in the description for you too. Here you can see that if you have a 0% luck bonus when you gather wire fiber, you are actually not eligible to get the blister weave. You must have a minimum of 1800 luck bonus in order to get it as a drop. The PvP flag bonus alone is going to give you a huge increase in the chance to get that drop, and then you can see as we stack the trophies on top, and finally the food, we get to that 1 in 20 chance to get the blister weave. Without the PvP bonus and all of the luck bonuses up, you have a 1 in 28 chance to get blister weave. So you can see the difference between the two is a pretty significant increase in how often you will get blister weave. So in my opinion, for gathering, flagging up is definitely worth it if you're going to be gathering any T5 materials. Now, let's talk about global loot luck. This is the luck value that affects your drops from chests and monsters. As I mentioned before, flagging up for PvP will give you 1000 or a 10% luck increase to your global loot luck. Now let's compare that to the Major Trophy, which only gives you a 150 luck bonus, or 1.5% luck per a trophy. Right off the bat, you can see that PvP flagging will give you more than double the total luck bonus than you would get if you had every single Major Trophy. So right off the bat, you are much better off flagging up than investing all that money into those Major Trophies. Something worth mentioning here too is that the maximum luck value that you can achieve is 60.9% luck, and a majority of that will actually come from the gear and bags that you have equipped. Here's a quick breakdown of what the global loot luck will actually help you get. Specific named items from various different bosses, so these are drops that are unique to that boss or maybe a small set of bosses in that dungeon. It'll increase your chances of getting different trophy upgrade materials, increase your chances of getting the various different crafting clothes drops, and of course increase your chance of getting schematics and recipes. Global Loot Luck does not, however, impact your chance of getting a gold item from something that isn't a named drop. Unlike Gathering Luck, there is no minimum luck value in order to get any of the items, except for Void Essence, which has a minimum luck value of 1, which is very low, and there is no such thing as too much luck or a luck sweet spot. No matter how much luck you have, it will not lock you out of getting certain drops. Finally, super rares are not affected by your luck, and that's items like the Slice and Dice, which have a very, very low drop rate from a ton of different random things in the game. And here's the example on the New World Guide calculator. Again, there's a link to this guide down below for you. Here I'm comparing the chances of getting both the loaded dice and the slice and dice from a large ancient chest. With no luck value invested, I have a 1 in 18,000 chance to get the loaded dice and a 1 in 6 million chance to get the slice and dice. So very low chance to get basically both items here. Flagging up for PvP alone will bring this to a 1 in 6,000 chance. Comparing that to having the three major trophies, which is sitting at just shy of a 1 in 10,000 chance. Again, it is totally worth it to flag up, then invest in those trophies. And there's even a luck food that you can add on top of that. 
And if you went and stacked all of this with the luck bonuses on your gear as well, including the shield, because that does affect your luck value if you have a sword and shield out and equipped, you can see I reached that maximum 60.9% total luck and have a roughly 1 in 1300 chance of getting the loaded dice. And interestingly, the slice and dice has almost no change in drop chance with all of the luck bonuses applied. So my end takeaway from all of this is that flagging up for PvP luck bonus is actually super worth it and not a lot of people do it even though it can have a pretty big impact, especially if you're going to go out and do some gathering. Also, due to the way that luck seems to be calculated, flagging up becomes especially more important if you don't already have a lot of luck gear on. So for things like early game, flagging up can be a very useful way to get yourself better access to drops than you would otherwise not even be able to get. I've got links down below to all of my reference material, including the website where I was calculating luck if you guys are curious and you want to do a little bit of light reading on how luck works yourself. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to catch me live, there's a link to my Twitch down below. You can check out my website, pvpnewworld.com, for written guides to all my builds. And of course, if you have some awesome clips that you want to send in for the top five, you can send that to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. A huge thank you to our sponsor, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring the show. If you guys want to get a deal on your first purchase with them, you can with the link down below. And of course, a big thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon for supporting the show. Thank you everybody just for tuning in and watching today. I hope you're looking forward to some more. There's an Iron Man video just around the corner. Have a good night everybody, and I'll see you next time.